This is the Battle of the Builders 2023 presented by Mothers. I'm the host Tyler and I have Ashley with me. And as you guys can see, his crazy 350Z build and it's insane. I mean, it's like half tube chassis, crazy yeah. wide body. It's full tube chassis. Full tube chassis. <laughs> there you go, I didn't even know. <laughs> Ashley, would you uh, care to explain this build and like the concept because there's quite a bit of uh, work done to this yeah, car, right? This, uh, this car uh, was a vision that I had uh, probably 10 years ago and uh, I just started trying to figure out how to make it into reality. So I found this car at auction, 800 bucks. It was wrecked in the rear. We cut it off, uh, tube chassis the back, and uh, that was three years ago. We drifted it, had a lot of fun. You went into this knowing that that's what you were gonna do. It wasn't like, oh, we crashed it and now I'm gonna put a tube chassis. Uh, that was the idea from the get-go. Yeah, it was the idea from the get-go to, the, to do the rear exo like this, and then as we were driving it, and just no car is that, no car project is ever really done. Yeah. You're always trying to do something else. Because most 350Zs notoriously have that, what is it, the, the VQ motor in there, right? Uh, yeah, the VQ is, it's, it's, it's hated and loved. It's I hated mean, and loved. It's a, it could be considered the Japanese LS. I, mean, right. I don't know, it's in a lot of platforms. <laughs> but uh, you decided to do a K24, but not only a K24, you have two K24s. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah, yeah. crazy. Well, when, you, when you love something, what's the only way to make it better? Add two. Add more. Add more. It. <laughs> what would be your top three things that you uh, like about this? Top build? three things for me would definitely be uh, the shifter. So when I had this idea, uh, it kept me awake at night for weeks. How was I going to shift two engines at the same time? Uh, so I started doing research. I actually came across a, an old YouTube video of uh, Kyle, Boosted Boy Kyle, oh, yeah, yeah. of him pulling apart uh, an old MR2 and getting the shifter out of it and then he shows and explains the whole thing. Uh, second after that I think would be um, the, my fenders. I mean yeah. I, I, I've got probably about three three months worth of like foam, clay, sanding, fiberglass, yeah. resin, like it, air it out and the fitment's not good, reshape it. Uh, so the way that these guys came out, uh, definitely my fenders I love, but my rear with all with all my followers signed, yeah. that was Week Fest back That's in July. Very cool. That's we a we, very cool we were not going to make it to the show on time because uh, I was I was working on the fenders and I was like, you know what, I'm starting to get stressed out. This is supposed to be fun. Yeah. I literally stopped sanding, I black primered them, and I got two white Sharpies and I said, we're going like this. And in six hours, both fenders were complete. And those are clear coated now. They're staying. That is awesome. Their signatures are on there for life. What is your third, uh, third, third thing? Fun? Probably uh, the inspiration for my girlfriend for the purple accent. Uh, we've got color fittings, has done all our AN fittings. Uh, and dress up bolts with all of our titanium hardware. She was like, actually, you've got to have some color in here. Just I love it as well. I mean, purple is my color and I think it does, <laughs> I think it does go with it's the perfect, car pretty yeah. well. Ashley, I appreciate you taking the time to show us your build Absolutely. and share your Tyler, story. Anytime, and uh, drop a comment down below what you guys think of Ashley's build and stay tuned for what we have coming next with the Battle of the Builders.